Hello dear friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to teach you a very small concept of Markov chain analysis with one very small example. So yes, in Markov chain model, always remember that there would be a matrix and there would be a current state. And there is one assumption that today's probability or prediction is based on previous day's probabilities. So that we will see, but in simple terms, this is a question of great financial crisis that hit in 2007-8. Many of the economists of the world have considered that it is a clear-cut signature of Great Depression. So they try to impact the housing inventory for next three stages. So here they have used a Marco chain model for current stock. They have to predict for stage one and stage two. These are the three stages of it. The first stage is current on mortgage. In very simple terms, I will explain what is the proportion of loan or housing currently on mortgage. The second stage is very important, delinquent in payment. It is like a two different month, like this is our first month, they are paying it. In second month, they may pay or may not pay. So that's why that state is known as a delinquent in payment. And the third stage is your F, that is the default stage, they will not pay the loan. We have a matrix of it where they have found the current stage, delinquent stage and your default stage and this matrix would have total of 1 because it's a probability. If you want to check, you just shift and try to do alter plus equal. You will get the 1 probability. Yes, now I wanted to tell one more thing. This is more important information that the current stock of houses in the three stage that is C, D and F are 120 and 5. So I have written here this current stock and this is my matrix. So now I need to find what would be like this is basically in thousands. So current stock is of 1 lakh. In delinquent state, it is 20,000. In default state, it is 5,000. So now I wanted to find what would be in stage 1. So just select the three things. But yes, before any, applying a Marco chain model, always remember you have to check the number of columns should equal to number of rows. So these are the 3 by 3 matrix. And this is the three column. So yes, you can multiply it. So here, select the three columns equal to MMULT. And this is a very important multiplication function. You just have to select the first Marco table, give comma, select the current stock, close the parenthesis, just enter. You will find the current stage of uh, stage one of Marco model. So yes, the stock of 100,000 is reduced to 86,000 in first stage. The stock of 20,000 would reduce to 18 and yes, the default stage would increase to 21,000. Now, if I wanted to find what would happen in second stage or second month. So again, the same analysis I have to do. I have to select the three cells. I have to write equal to M, M, U, L, T, the same formula. I have to select this probability matrix and give comma. Now, I will not select the current stage because as I said, the assumption of Marco model is this model predicts the stage one stage before. It means it is 
taking a base of previous month or previous stage. So for stage 2, the base would be stage 1. So now I am closing the bracket and I am just giving enter. You can see here the stage of stage 2 of current stock reduced to 75,000 in your first mortgage stage, 17,000 in delinquent payment and 33,000 in your default. So this way we can make assumption for the model. Now I wanted to see the study state of model. So for that I have made one more uh, sheet where the same question is copied and pasted and here I have done the multiplication many a times. So this way at 17th or 18th stage, yes from 18th stage I get the steady state. In simple terms your output is equal to your input. In other words, your 19th stage output is equal to input of 18th stage. So there is no change. So this is my study state. I have done iteration. But yes, in Excel, you can just uh, freeze the cells by adding dollar signs. And on that, I can just show you how to this. Yes, you have to just add dollar signs before it. And on the basis of it, it would freeze the cells. So till here, I have taught you what is a steady state. We have to find steady state in Marco model. Now here, can I find a one stage before if I have second stage? So for that, uh, I will do a small analysis. I am just deleting everything. I will just delete this inverse matrix also. And I will show you how I, it works. Okay. So uh, this is a very simple thing. I, I, want I want to predict. I have this input. I want this data from this matrix or multiplying this matrix. So for that, I have to make a one formula. M inverse. Select this whole state. Close the bracket. You can get your whole matrix. Now, as I say, I don't have stage or you can say I don't have stock of it. I don't have stock. I have this variable. Can I predict previous stock? So, yes. So, here... Again, doing the same thing, equal to MMULT, select first this matrix, comma, select this stage, close the bracket. You can see here, whatever the stock was there that you got. Same way, if I want this stage, so I, I just need to write the same thing equal to mm, sorry, I have to first select three stage equal to mm ult, select the matrix, the inverse matrix, comma, select the second stage, just close the bracket. You can see here, yes, you just have to reduce that uh, zeros and you can see the exit amount is luck reflecting so this way you have to use a marco chain model for predicting the next stage even as i say the reverse engineering is possible by using the inverse matrix hope you like the video thank you